Okay, today on Gearbox, I'm joined by Craig Abbott from Jans. Craig, welcome. Well, thank you very much. Today, we're looking at the Shaw PSM 1000. Yes. Now, this is the, the newest addition to the Shaw in ear range. And there's some differences here. What, what's our, our most obvious difference, I guess? Well, the obvious difference is, I suppose, it is now one rack unit. So it's been based uh, from the nine, the move up from the 900, which was two single units. Mm -hmm. uh, it has now been placed, those two single units, in one rack unit. Uh, with the nice thing, I suppose, is now we don't have an external power supply. That's always a winner. That's and you, in fact, have even got a cascade on an the IEC loop through. Yes, so we've got the in and out, as well as you can also see the RJ45 on the rear is also an in and out. So basically that uh, makes it a lot nicer, keeping your racks clean. Mm, very and, much uh, so. And, and like that. Now, audio in and out is obviously there's a pair of XLRs and TRSs for each set of channels. That's so it's correct. a dual stereo unit, yes, yeah? Yes, it is a dual stereo unit. Okay. Uh, they both actually they act totally independent of one another okay just common antennas and that's, that's pretty correct. much where it ends yep. all right now talking antennas i'm noticing on our belt packs here something this is this is something we've not seen a lot yes with the, the dual new, antennas with, with the new p10rs uh with the psm 1000s so of course we have two antennas so as you can see that what is now true diversity mm. not adaptive uh anything like that it is actually true diversity so, so you can do that. Yes, yeah, so turn them upside down, and the digital little bit of interference doesn't come in. So, yeah, which is great. It uh, it gives the versatility and the strength of the RF. If you're a greater distance away, uh, you know you're going to keep a strong signal at all times. Now, talking RF uh, and uh, other antenna things, you've got a couple of different antenna options that you can use with a transmitter. Yeah. Yes, of course. I mean, you can still go into the into the dividers. How many systems can we run? Well, currently, assuming we've got no RF in the area, uh, assuming you have no, yes, exactly. which is a wild yeah, and yeah. probably invalid assumption, uh, but providing that you had the most clear open air that you've mm -hmm. ever ever seen, uh, you can run up to thirty six channels okay. of RF, and that that's over a seventy two megahertz band. Okay, so in real world conditions, that's still going to translate to quite a lot. Yes. Yeah. Uh, uh, as far as uh, the belt packs go. Yeah. Um, obviously, we've got we've got the uh, ability to sync them with the base again. That's that's relatively yep, easily done. Still got done. the same IR sync that's basically available over all the Shaw products. Mm -hmm. uh, they've been able to just sync them straight through the IR. Uh, I suppose the few new features, as you can see, that when you open them up, they can take your standard double A cells in yep. there, or you can actually slide out the piece in the bottom and put in the rechargeable battery pack that goes along with it. Which then there is a charger where you can actually drop it in. Which of course makes contact with the rear contacts. Yep. Uh, the nice part about them is it is a different contact that actually goes for the normal cells. So, so there's no danger you're ever going to try. If you have the silly roadie that decides to plug in, recharge the double A that's not rechargeable. Yes. Uh, I'm not worried about the batteries blowing up. I'm more worried about the damage to the pack yeah. of the battery blowing up. Yeah. Uh, well, that's so it. That's what's one great advantage. Also, you can see on the packs these days they've got a, a blue LED on top. Yep. Uh, which is indicating that the RF switch on the front of the unit is actually on, mm -hmm. and it has actually got connectivity between the between the base. That's nice. So it indicates straight yes. away that it's working. And then you've got your green LED, which is tricolored, which also gives you your battery situation. Okay. So of course, as it goes into amber uh, and down into red, and then you know that your battery is nearly exhausted. Now, as a guy who occasionally does monitors for people. Um, I'm always on the lookout for things to make my life easier because let's face it, monitor guys, you know, the easiest gig in the world, not. Um, any cool new features in terms of monitor applications? Yeah, well, one of the greatest features is the 20 recordable cue modes. So basically what you can actually do is if you had, say, 10 of the receivers set up, you can actually record every individual frequency into the belt packs. And then just by you know, walk around the stage, by and the go, up and yeah. down arrows on the belt packs, you can actually listen to any send or cue that you have saved within that pack. Wow! So you don't even have to be at the desk. No, that's no, cool. If you've got a long enough Cat Five connection, you don't <laughs> even, even within a bull's roar of it. <laughs> a complaint that that I guess we sometimes see from artists on ears. Uh, aside from the mix not being right, is in terms of level. Like a lot, a yes. lot of the time, um, artists 
there, there are some, some units they find the internal limiters don't give them enough level on their ears. How do we go for level off these? Uh, the level on these are basically, if anyone has actually heard the, the PSM 900, mm -hmm. uh, they're virtually the identical output to those. Uh, so it's enough to damage you, basically. It is enough to damage you. Hence uh, why it has the warning on the back. Uh, yes. <laughs> Craig, you were mentioning uh, before we started shooting today that you can use this in point-to-point -point mode as well. What's, can you explain for the viewers at home how that works and what yeah, it lets sure. us do? Well, basically, the PSM 1000 enables you, if you are running a delay stack further in an area that may be over water, through concrete, uh, in another room that is not very accessible by leads. In a place uh, where cabling is not a viable yes, option. It's, it's, it makes it very difficult. Uh, the opportunity with this unit, if you have uh, any of our URDs or anything like that, you can actually set the unit to point to point. Uh, have a UR the other end and you can actually basically link them together which will give you virtually uh, a point-to-point -point transmission where both of them are plugged into 240 volts mm. not having to worry about I have now a belt pack on the end that's going to run out of batteries halfway through the night or yeah no because I've, uh, I've been there and done that with a, a belt pack and a yes, lead I'm and sure a pad have. in line <laughs> and and it was um, a great success ish ish um, but yeah, mains powered is obviously a much better option for that. Oh, of course. So, and with a, with a hundred watt tran, hundred milliwatt power transmission, it gives you a fair distance. So that's that's a hundred milliwatt. That's pretty yes. serious. And you can obviously dial that down. Of course, you have you have three selectable power ranges. You have uh, 10, 50 and one hundred milliwatt. So it, depending on the whether area, or you need to burn the trees. <laughs> well, or if you want to flatten anyone else within the area, uh, that gives you the option of. If you need the 100 milliwatts, <laughs> you can it. Okay, so it's the short PSM 1000 series available through Jans.